In today's video, I'm going to be replacing the near side front ABS speed sensor on this BMW 330D. I recently replaced the offside rear wheel speed sensor, video in the description below. But now there is a problem with the near side front. The car had been jerking around, hesitating, and the ABS and traction control light came on. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that the car has become undrivable. So I've been driving this little devil and it's performed beautifully. A diagnostic check was carried out with Carista, which showed some fault codes, two fault codes, both relating to that near side front speed sensor. And I then did a live data check. And sure enough, the signal from that near side front speed sensor dropped out on several occasions, always reading differently from the other three. I got this from Autodoc. It was only about 30 quid. Here it is, out of the box. By turning the steering fully to the left, we get a very good view of the speed sensor right there. And the wiring for it comes up, passes behind the suspension strut, shock absorber, and then comes through this little bracket here. There is a further fixing point there where it goes through another bracket, and then it enters this little electrical center here. It's essentially just a cover that we can unclip and lift up and there you can see the connector for the ABS sensor. The one above is the brake padware sensor. The sensor is held in place with a five mil Allen key bolt. It's really important that that Allen key is seated correctly. We really do not want to round this off. In reality, this actually came undone really easily. I gently used a flat bladed screwdriver to ease it free and with some gentle wiggling, it came out. Now I need to release this, which came free nicely. And the same from here. This connector comes out of here. I'm just gonna clean this up because there's a lot of muck in there. That is much cleaner can now squeeze in this little tab here and remove. We can now compare old with new to ensure that the lengths are the same, and they are. Due to cutouts, these can only fit one way. So we reconnect it. can use just a little bit of dry lube to make this easier. It can be quite tight, but that's in place. And press this one home. Again, it's very tight. This pass is around the shock absorber and then we refit the sensor. I put a little bit of white grease on this bolt thread just to prevent any seizing in the future. And then we can tighten things up. The connector needs to be pressed back into position and then we just close the lid on this protective cover for those connections. Job done. Back in the car now, post repair, it is just a case of resetting the fault codes. And here we go traction, stability, control. Those are the codes there. Accident recognition, that's strange. That wasn't there before. Maybe it's because I removed the sensor. Okay, that's all reset. Well, that is it. 
Fitting a near side front wheel speed sensor. I'm about to take the car out for a decent road test. Hopefully the lights stay out and that will be the end of it. Uh, if you don't hear any more about this, then we can safely say it's fixed. If not, uh, I'll be bringing the next video to you on this car. Hopefully not though, hopefully the next video will be on the Smart. I've got a great video lined up. I'm gonna be retrofitting a rev counter and the clock, the two pods on the dash that some Smarts have and others uh, don't. I'm gonna be fitting those, just waiting for the parts. That's gonna be a good video and I'm really looking forward to making it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Thank you and bye-bye.